Hello Sims and Youngblood fans and welcome back to my channel. How many special people change? How many lives are living strange? Where we in while we would get high? Slowly walking down. Worth it or is Birchbox worth it or are they both worth it? So basically, I have a running subscription with both Ipsy and Birchbox, and I'm just gonna kind of like lay down which one's better in my opinion, just based on the last three months of stuff I've gotten from both companies. So, um, we're gonna start out with Ipsy. Um, every month for Ipsy, you get a bag and five mini products. Some of them might be full-sized, um, really just depends on the month. So, in the last three months, I've gotten the April, May, and June bag. <laughs> I had to think about that because we're in July. This was the April bag and it was all about clean beauty. This was the May bag. I believe it was all about glow. And this was the June bag. Um, I don't remember what the theme of the June bag was. Um, obviously, each month you will get a little makeup bag. These are just the regular Ipsy subscription, not the Glam Plus or the Glam Deluxe, I think, those are the other two. So they all come with the little bags. That's just a thing. So usually in my subscription, I end up getting brushes, um, little like, and other little makeup products. Wow, that was just weird. I get a lot of eyeliner a lot of the time. Even though I love it, I just don't really want it every month. So I'm gonna show you a few things I've gotten from Ipsy so far. The first two things I've gotten from Ipsy were these two brushes. I believe they're by different companies. One's by Farrah Cosmetics and one's by Luxie Cosmetics. I actually really love that Ipsy has been giving me brushes because I love brushes. I do makeup on other people usually and I usually only have my one set of brushes just for me. And so now having some more brushes, it's... Oh, I also got this one from Ipsy. It shouldn't be saying that. This one's from Blue Bocar... I can't... Bocariche? This one's like a little shader. Wow, that was off topic. But yeah, I really love how Ipsy gives brushes to me every month, obviously, because I do end up doing other people's makeups for like skating shows and other things. So it's nice to have kind of like double the brushes that I usually have. So these are actually really nice quality. Um, I like the variety that you get. I keep getting a lot of eyeshadow brushes, but I believe in this month's Ipsy or Birchbox, I'm getting another brush that's just for like bronzer and stuff so they're really nice quality um they're really pretty i really like this fair brush because it's all like pointy at the end but um yeah they work really well and i appreciate them greatly the next thing i usually get from ipsy is obviously eyeliner so i have quite a few i've gotten liquid eyeliners a lot and the uh cool pencil -y ones that kind of do this so yeah, I have that one, and then I have this Ciate Fierce Flix one, which is, if I could open it, would be great. Ta-da. It's just a regular, just like, felt tip. Um, obviously I love eyeliner. I just have way too many right now, because um, Ipsy keeps sending me black eyeliner. So if they could just send me a different color that'd be great i mean obviously that's not a complaint i'm i love eyeliner i wear too much of it i'm just not wearing it right now another great thing ipsy has sent me are oh my god these are so adorable um little auto bomb things i don't know if they're cruelty free <laughs> which kind of kills me on the inside because i like a lot of cruelty free items but um i usually give these to my mom they're just like little eyeshadows and stuff this one's in St. Charles, and it's just a little brown eyeshadow. Um, these are easy and travel sized, and I could just throw them in one of these bags if I'm going somewhere, and I could be like, Well, I need eyeshadow. Boom, eyeshadow. So, definitely appreciate these as well. The only downside that I have with Ipsy, though, it has an incredible price point for how much you get, and obviously, you get a free bag every month, so that's like a win win. Is that they send a lot of the same products over and over again. I don't know if that's just because they try to cater to you so many ways. I actually tried to cancel. <laughs> I canceled my Ipsy subscription for this month, but then I realized they, they sent me like a little picture of my, my bag. And I was like, man, I really want that. So I ended up getting another one. So we'll see how this month kind of fares out. And hopefully I might stay with the Ipsy game. Uh, maybe I won't. But I definitely enjoy getting these bags. I'm going to end up doing stuff with them. I know that one of them's going to 
become like a first aid kit when I'm just gonna come a makeup bag and I think when I'm gonna like cut into a mask or something. I don't know. Okay, so next up we have Birchbox. Um, every month the Birchbox, you obviously get a box that are a little themed and cute and I love them. They come with tissue paper and then like what you get, which is really nice because on Ipsy you have to look online to see what you get. And for Birchbox you get the, you get a tip, you get like a little cool quote, and then you can see the full size products, the, um, what they are, and how much they cost. So that's really nice, and I love that. So Birchbox is a little different from Ipsy. Obviously you get a box, sometimes you get full size items, sometimes you get um, small items. I obviously get the non-deluxe version of both of these subscription boxes because um, college student. So I honestly love these. You get actually six products versus the five. You get an Ipsy, but it's pretty similar in number. So um, a lot of the times in my birch boxes, I just have some random samples that I got. I usually get, I'm not gonna try to butcher this, but way shampoos and like other shampoos because I think they think that I have really bad hair and honestly moon because my hair's fried. So definitely, I also had another one and I used it, it was so good. It was feel cruelty free and vegan. I know that way I believe doesn't test on animals and I don't know about this one so I haven't used it yet. But um yeah so usually with Birchbox I'll get a lot of trial shampoo items and conditioner which is really nice. Um, they sent me uh, their Real Benefit mascara that I haven't used because I personally don't like this mascara but mom will love it because she wants to take off my hands anyways. Along with the other stuff I get from Birchbox itself, I just have like a few of my favorite items I've received from Birchbox just kind of laying around here anyways because they're actually so great. I received this really nice Sir, oh my god, Seraphine Botanicals, like vegan lip gel. It's kind of like gloss, it's really pretty. She's like, can't really. Yeah, it's pink and really nice, and I love it, and I'm literally wearing it on my mouth right now. I have received, I don't think this, this one's from Ipsy. Um, this is just a little gel for your eyes, it's really nice. Um, some other items I have received from Birchbox would be this lock, like, it's supposed to mimic, I think, the Stila gels. Or the Stila little crushed things that go in your eyes. I personally love this, I use this every day when I can. Um, a little highlighter from IB, obviously. This one's cruelty free, so we stand. So I'll be using that. I use this as an eyeshadow versus, like, a highlighter because it's too dark for my pale skin tone. But I love this and thought about buying the whole sizes. Full sizes, full sizes. Um, I've got this Wander Beauty blush and cheek tint. Again, don't really know if this is cruelty free because I don't really have the stickers on the sample size, but this is really pretty. And I uh, haven't really used this one yet. Lastly, again, I also I just get a lot of hair stuff because I think they just think my hair is bad. <laughs> but this is a shine cream. Um, I also have. I want to say it's Amika, Amika Sabrina, yeah. um, a shine mask from Amika that they've given me. And with Birchbox, you get to choose a sample every month, but I think that's oh, that's also the same thing with Ipsy. If you've been around, you get to choose a sample every month. With Ipsy, it's more like you have more choices on what you want to choose a sample that month. Birchbox has maybe like three to four samples you can choose from that are varying categories. Obviously, Ipsy is just makeup, so you just choose from makeup. But yeah, um, I haven't really used all of these products yet because I have so many from Birchbox and I love them a lot. So hopefully I'll use this soon. But um, okay, so we're getting to my opinion. I, I feel like people are gonna hate me, but also at the same time not really hate me because I think they have the same opinion. I'm personally <laughs> more of a Birchbox fan for the last, well I only have two, but this is gonna be my third month. Three months because I feel like there's just a lot better quality i mean you do pay like three more dollars for the box which comes with an extra product and has a lot more range and what you see versus like ipsy's box the ipsy which usually ends up just coming with like a brush um a face mask or like a mascara or eyeliner that's usually what comes in my ipsy it doesn't really range in products and i see a lot of people getting the same thing i know it's a subscription box but they 
have a lot more to offer right now because I always look at their samples every month for just like the regular bags and I know there's a lot of different types of products that they could include in their bags but I think they just really 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 want to stick to your profile and I feel like they should kind of like think outside of the box but I mean I do love Ipsy it's great if you're starting out and you want makeup as a starter personally if you are more into makeup I do recommend the birch boxes because they're just obviously a bang for your buck you get a lot more higher end products than you do in Ipsy and more like name no name name brands there we go then like indie brands, um, obviously they come a little packaged differently, but I definitely think Birchbox is a little bit more superior to Ipsy. Now I haven't tried BoxyCharm, I haven't tried a bunch of other ones, but with these two, these are the two cheapest, I believe. Yeah, I think they're the two cheapest makeup subscription, beauty subscription boxes and bags there are, so obviously they're not going to be like perfect, but obviously I think Birchbox is more of a bang for your buck if you do like beauty products and you don't want to go to the store so often and you know what, because they offer a wide range of stuff versus your Ipsy. But if you're starting out with makeup just like newly and you want to like get into it, obviously I recommend the Ipsy for that. That'd be great. Like if you wanted to start on makeup and you don't want to spend like a thousand dollars on like Anastasia Beverly Hills or like Tom Ward or whatever. Um, these come with like drugstore brands and other, I think sometimes they come with some high-end brands. They're super great for their buck. Um, obviously they really stick to that beauty profile, but I believe like if, again, if you're starting off makeup or you're just like not as comfortable with it, this is definitely something you should invest in because obviously I think it's really nice and though I'm a little more experienced than like and like higher end beauty products than what Ipsy usually offers. I think it's a great company and a nice way to start out for getting into the beauty subscription game because obviously, I keep saying obviously way too much. I think they're a great thing for the buck. They're great for people who are new to makeup and I recommend these if you're starting up a new beauty subscription to just dive into either the Ipsy or the Birch Box and not get stuck on the BoxyCharm. I know the BoxyCharm has like way more stuff, but it's like 25 bucks a month. It's really, really expensive. And I feel like you get more products with the Birch Box and the Ipsy than you do with the BoxyCharm. And they're cheaper, obviously, because they're not like 25 bucks a month. But these are the best starting beauty subscription boxes, I believe, versus the BoxyCharm. So yeah, definitely a bang for your buck. Recommend them. My personal opinion, Birchbox is a little bit better, but you don't get the cute bags. If you want cute bags, go with Ipsy. If you want like more products, go with Birchbox. So yeah, that was my opinion on this. I would definitely like to hear your concerns, thoughts, opinions below. If you guys really like Ipsy, tell me why. And if you have any tips to getting your bag diversified, greatly appreciated. And if you have anything on BoxyCharm, because again, not like a super knowledgeable person on BoxyCharm other than watching like people do videos of them, definitely leave those down below or if you know of any cool makeup subscription things that are cheaper or have like cool free products, that'd be sick. So yeah, I'll see you guys soon. 